Hi friends, so in this video we are going to continue the same topic process structure and function. So in that topic here this is another uh, major important uh, concept that is a register organization. So in the previous video we have discussed about uh, organization about the CPU, what are the components inside there, then how it will be functional. So all these things we have discussed. So in this uh, topic we are going to discuss about what are the types of registers, how it is going to be help the uh, CPU for the basic arithmetic and logical operations. Okay, so here t uh, registers will perform two major roles. So one is one may be the user visible registers and second one is the control and status registers. So user visible registers may be divided into major majorly divided into four different categories. One is the general purpose register and second one is the data register and third one is the address register and fourth one is the conditional codes. Okay, so a general purpose register may be used for basic operations for the as a temporary storage. So data registers may be used for data transfer and data storage for the uh, processing by process by the uh, CPU. So that, that is the advantage of uh, data registers and address registers to calculate the address. So while data uh, retrieving, retrieval, so from the main memory to processor, during that retrieval, the address can be calculated. For that address calculation, so this address register may be used. And the fourth one is the condition codes. So condition codes always it may be referred as a flag. So this flag may be uh, the values are set by the uh, processor hardware. It provides the major support to the particular uh, process execution or sometimes it, it will provide it, it may add some difficulties or it, uh, complexities to the process execution. So example uh, adding more uh, that is a flag register or referral memory referral it, 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 it brings more complexity to the process. So that's why sometimes the condition codes uh, gives the advantage or sometimes the condition codes it, pro it may add complexity to the particular process. And next one is the control and status register. So these four are the major uh, con uh, control registers. One is the instruction register. IR means instruction register. MBR means memory buffer register. And third one is the MAR. MAR is a memory address register and fourth one is a PC that is a program counter. So these are the major control uh, registers you can uh, identify inside the uh, CPU. So instruction register mainly used during the instruction fetch it may be used. So memory buffer register for data transfer during the data transfer time uh, memory buffer that is the in or out data in or data out. So memory buffer register may be used and third one is the memory address register during the uh, data transfer time for the address calculation. So hold the address value this memory address register may be used. So program counter always gives the uh, always it points the next instruction to be executed the increment the value uh, it may points to the next instruction to be executed. So another one that is a status register. So these are the status register sign register zero register carry register and overflow register interrupt enable or disable register. So these are the registers will say the status of the particular value inside the processor and next one uh, these are the examples. So three different examples are there. So you can check it in the uh, particular topic that is a example example for uh, register organization of MC6800 uh, 6, 6, 6, 6, or 8086 or 8386. So these are the three different processor organizations. So in that processor organization, so uh, register organization also will be different from one to other. Okay, all three uh, processor are having three different organizations. That is a uh, it having a different uh, general purpose register, different set of data registers, di different set of address registers, and also having the different set of conditional codes. So this is all about the register organization. In the next video, we'll discuss about the uh, indirect cycle or instruction cycle, cycle, how it will be executed. All these things we'll discuss in the next video. Thank you.